Well, it was a tough race last week, but the Green Tree Python was the winner. So this is Cruella. This is our most recent Green Tree Python. She was actually the one in the unboxing video that's on our channel from not too long ago. I'm just going to go through and feed all three of these Biak Green Tree Pythons. Actually, Ed is while I'm recording. This one is Dolores. She's the green tree that we've had for the longest. And we do have a theme with naming our green trees. You'll have to let us know if you catch on to that theme. Dolores isn't the brightest here. I don't quite know what she's looking at. Everything is heat-based with those heat pits around their upper lips. Oh, she got it there. So she always finds it eventually. Now we did take out the foliage and the decorations so that you could see them a little bit easier. We left the perches in so that they could use them for support as they're kind of squeezing the prey. Not that they really need them. Now this is Kronk. He is our male who's going to be breeding with the previous two Biaks eventually when they get big enough. He is pretty quick when it comes to eating. He wastes no time at all, as you can see. And the black tubing in the back is actually the monsoon watering system or misting system. I, it looks like he knocked his down, so we're going to have to put that back up. But that's connected to a monsoon that is on a timer, so it kind of mists the enclosures for us. We did remove the perch in the middle so that, again, you can see them a little bit easier. But if you don't already know, green tree pythons are very much an arboreal species, so they spend most of their time up in tree branches. So whenever you see one in captivity, there's always some sort of artificial branch system in there for them to hang on to. Now this part is sped up about 500%, so you can imagine how long it actually took them to eat this. And the cool thing about green trees is just watching them eat. They use their own body to hold up the mouse, and they also use gravity on their side, and then they just simply work their way up the meal. We got Kronk here from Craigslist of all places, and he has been a great addition. And he's just going to make his way back up to his perch as he eats. But watch the mouse inside. You can watch him using his muscles, flexing those muscles to push it down. The wobbling is from him just moving back and forth a little, but when it's sped up, it looks kind of weird. So right there, I don't know if you saw it, but that mouse kind of got pushed down. It looked like a little sausage almost. There's some shed skin that fell over, and that's about it. So I know a lot of you were waiting for the Green Tree Python video, so I'm glad that this one finally won for you. And due to popular requests, we figured we'd have it in last week's poll. Again, vote in the top right corner for next week's feeding video, and we'll see you then.